Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to paint my interpretation of koi carp fish using a bit of metallic watercolour and I'm so grateful to Skillshare for sponsoring our video today. So grab your paints and let's get started. Right then, well let's get mixing the paints and whilst I do that I can talk to you about our, our sponsor today, the wonderful Skillshare who I love working with because each time I look to go on Skillshare to learn something new it actually just just enhances my life just a little bit more whether it is helping actually build hobbies or skills for my business or something that's just much more about self-care and relaxation and so this time I tried a class called indoor gardening grow house plants veggies and herbs with Ector Chowdhury because I love my house plants but I've always been a bit confused by them and I'm not that great at looking after them so how nice to have a class that's just all about enhancing uh, your well-being and standard of life because Skillshare is this amazing online community uh, for all sorts of things with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning but sometimes it's nice to, to learn about something that's a passion that you want to really become good at and the best news is is that the first thousand people to use the link in my episode notes below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare it's ad free so you can stay in the zone while you're exploring new skills and there are new classes that come out each week and these are all with uh, subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese and German. What's not to love? So thank you Skillshare and let's get on with today's painting which is again is stepping out into the unknown, um, very on brand and we're going to paint some koi carp or koi fish. They are actually a carp, a type of carp, um, and definitely educated me on that before we got started today. So I'm just mixing up some lovely orangey pinky tones that are gonna be perfect for our fish. These days I'm, I know better than to attempt using a compass on camera. I'm always a bit rubbish at it, um, but essentially what we want to start off with is a circle on the page, which is going to be a really handy sort of guide for drawing our fish. Now, I'll be honest, I've, I've never drawn a koi fish before, so I'm coming at this new, um, but let's all do it together, shall we? So I'm using this circle as my guideline to get the basic body shape of this lovely fish. So it sort of tapers off and then we have these beautiful tails which we're sort of fanning out from and then fins It's, this is a tutorial I've been asked to do a number of times and um, what was rather nice is I was actually asked by my patrons if I would do it and we have a special feature where we can all choose tutorials on YouTube so this was rather nice that somebody asked for it. So I'm just getting these fans ready there and then I'm going to have one coming down here. So, so try and match it. I think actually, if you like drawing in a certain, from a certain angle, you may as well just turn the page round. Okay, so we can see again, it's all about lots of lovely curves. But the way I teach is I always want to be just doing the bare minimum of drawing and the rest of it is really about painting. So we'll get our drawing in. And uh, yeah, I think that's really rather nice. Um, we need a few little extra fins in there. Now, um, I always draw just a little bit more heavily when I'm filming. So what I recommend for you now is to just lightly rub out your pencil. I, I won't do it too much um, because obviously you need to see 
what I'm doing but we also need to pop in a few eyes of our fish so I'm just doing a few little just little bracket things almost there and there and then we can just give our fish some round eyes there there's also a central fin so use the circle there you go right then I think I think we've done plenty of drawing and it is time to paint so get yourself ready um, lightly rub out that pencil so I've mixed up um, some orange red and uh, permanent rose and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to begin by doing a sort of a, a very sort of pale wash what's quite useful is my water's a bit orangey so um, you can just loosely see it I just want to get some sort of patches of water on this fish all will become clear in a second um, and now I'm going to paint in sort of splotches of colour onto this fish but what I, I really want to get is a sense of um, a bit of blend and then a bit of sort of more crisper colour and, and just by painting in very sort of intermittent patches of water onto this fish it means that we get a few sort of um, erratic kind of blends going on on the fish which is just what I want and um, and then moving down towards the tail I don't actually want much color but I do want a tiny bit so I'm just stretching that color out there stretching it out because I have an exciting plan for the detail on this fish we're going to use some metallic paint because I feel like there are an awful lot of beautiful koi fish painting tutorials on all sorts of platforms and uh, it would just be kind of nice to come up with something a little bit new so here we go a little bit of a little bit of water just erratically painted on so I guess this is a kind of loose watercolor koi fish You just got to make sure that your colour stays within the boundaries of the fish itself. Dot the paint a tiny bit and then I'm cleaning my brush off. I've been using a size 4 brush the whole time which is great. It just shows sort of the kind of freedom you can have with this kind of painting. I really feel like the, the greatest challenge with this tutorial is, is the, the initial getting that curve of the fish around each other and, and that is just manage by doing it all with that compass circle so that that's probably my my sneakiest uh, tip for this tutorial okay so we're going to let that dry and then we're going to get our gold out so I've just changed up the palette I've got one of my metallic fine tech palettes um, in use today and I'm going to be using my rigger brush I've got this lovely copper down here um, this is just like watercolour really, just use it just like watercolour and what I'm going to do is I'm going to now do some lovely detailed outlines in this metallic copper and I just think that is going to look so cool so the rigger brush is a really fantastic long slender brush which is kind of perfect for elegant long lines like this. For ages I wasn't entirely sure if this 
was the kind of brush that I could control anything with, but they're really good. So I'm using it to create all the little ripples or the pleats in the fanned fins to start off with because also it lends itself to having a nice sort of long sweeping line and then I will use my four tenths brush for more of the detail it's fun to just try out different things sometimes isn't it so I don't use metallics all that often but this just seemed like a lovely opportunity so they're looking really striking with this copper on and now just joining up the first line with the last one and this is much easier, in my opinion, to do with a pointed round brush. And now we can get a little bit of detail in with Getting an eye with a bit of Mars black. So just a little oval just in where you draw the, drew those little lines earlier. Just also got to be careful about not um, sticking your hand in wet paint. The metallic paint does dry quite fast, so that's quite cool. And then uh, there's also a little sort of, almost like a little whisker the fish have. my brush really quite vertically when I am doing these fine delicate little lines and then just do a little bit of the copper over the eye like that and there we go so we'll just let that dry 100% and then we can rub out the pencil and see what we've got and now the pencil is all rubbed out, we can see the beautiful koi carp with the lovely coppery finish. Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed that and don't forget the first thousand people to click the link in the episode notes below will get one month's free trial on Skillshare. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring us today and if you never want to miss another video just hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell and we'll see you again next time.